Oh, there. Yep, I'm back under the Ford here. <laughs> One of the biggest questions I get asked all the time about, oh, when I say I'm from Idaho, we're car guys. What's the first pe question anybody asks? What are the cars like, right? Well, I think I can sum all that up with one bolt. Maybe two. Here, I'll show you. You can see I got my minion hat on here. So I can actually throw some light on the subject for you. It's too tight under here for my regular camera, so forgive me on that. But I'll try to show you here the best I can. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. You can see there, these bolts, I don't have any, you know, these exhaust flange bolts. You know how hard they are. I haven't put any PV blaster on them at all. They're bone dry. And from all I can tell, they're 77. They haven't been on off of there since 77. So let's give that a shot. Ah, got my ratchet. that I've also got a 9 16 on because I'm a dumbass uh, there we go uh, uh, uh. oh getting tight Now, granted, they're not all like this, but for the most part, they are. Around here, they don't salt the roads a lot. And while the soil around here is the reason we have the potatoes that we do, everything here is sand. volcanic sand Whew. it starts clear down there by a Twin Falls area and runs all the way up here to me through the Snake River Valley what it is is it's Yellowstone <laughs> this is where Yellowstone Park used to be it's slowly moving into Montana and every time that super volcano goes off it leaves this. So you get lots and lots of volcanic sand that just sucks the water right out of the ground. And since we got lots and lots of sand, well, they sand the roads and it's volcanic sand. So it doesn't kill our cars. And you can see there, I was able to take that exhaust bolt off without any PB blaster or anything. No WD-40, just straight off. Uh, I know that's kind of rough, <laughs> but that one bolt there. We'll just kind of give you an idea of what the underside of the cars look like around here. We do get rust, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, in the fall, late fall usually, all through the winter and during the spring. That's about the only time it rains here. All summer long, it's bone dry and hot. <laughs> but that and the combination of our soil and everything it just wicks all the uh, moisture right out of everything and our altitude we're real high altitude here so you know you, you factor in all of that stuff the fact we don't use salt it's sand and yeah our cars last so uh actually i could set up a time lapse camera right out my front door here and you'll probably count 30, I'd say a good 30 classic cars driving up and down the road. For us out here, 
it's not it's not unusual that's just you know it's nothing special that's just people keep on driving them <laughs> all right so that's a little thing uh i know it ain't much but in the meantime yeah i'm gonna keep rolling at this and get this god dang thing out of here uh so i can start getting some real metal hot right so yep meantime keep that metal hot we'll catch you all out there <laughs>